Wonderful. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Alicia Lido. I am a gold ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And this is our training Tuesday, where we just come together for a brief, me brief meeting and I share with you some tricks, some tips, some tools, um, some strategies um, to excel in your business. So tonight, um, the topic is turning your compliments into cash. That's turning your compliments into cash. And I'm excited about that because oftentimes we get people who compliment us on our weight loss, or maybe they compliment us and say, hey, it looks like your hair is really healthy. It looks like your hair is really growing. Um, or they may compliment you on your skin. They can say, wow, you know, it seems like your skin has cleared up a great deal. Or it looks like you're aging backwards. That's another thing you might hear. Um, gosh, you look so young. It looks like you're starting to reverse age. Those are all awesome compliments. Am I correct? But most of us really don't know what to do with those compliments. We get those compliments and we say, oh, thank you. And that's it. That's all we say. It's just, oh, thank you. <laughs> and um, we really need to work on how we can go beyond, oh, thank you. Let me fix that a little bit better. There we go. And let me pull my seat down a little bit. There we go. How we can go beyond, oh, thank you, and turn those compliments into cash. So that's the topic tonight is turning those compliments into cash. So I'm so grateful that you guys decided to join me tonight and we're going to jump right in. So if you're watching this on Facebook, yes, um, then what I would love for you to do is to hop on over to Zoom so I can see your faces and then I can also see your questions. Um, but if you can't and if you, Facebook just works better for you and you don't have the app on your phone and you can't do Zoom, not a problem. I just want you to be here and get the information. That's most important. But I sure would love to see your lovely faces. Um, and then for those of you who are joining us on Zoom, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, take a moment and um, text some people on your team. Text your downline. Um, text some people that you know, your sidelines that are your accountability partners um, and say, hey, we just started. You haven't missed anything, but you, you probably want to hop on. So help me out by doing that. I don't like to send out too many reminder notices. Uh, just I don't like to bombard you with messages. So I sent out one this morning and then we're live. And then after it's over, I'll send out a second one with the playback. So um, they may have lost track of time and just forgotten that um, it was about to happen. So you would be doing them a great favor if you would go ahead and if you don't see your accountability partner or your downline or your BFF or whoever on this call, then go ahead and get them on. All right. So again, what we're talking about tonight is turning compliments into cash. And so what often happens for us is we get compliments from people about how they can see a difference in us. Maybe they say, you know, they can see you, um, you lost some weight and you're really just thinking to yourself, you know, I don't want to be constantly plugging my business. So, you know, you, you don't respond. Um, but if you don't share, uh, it's kind of like thinking of it from a different standpoint. Instead of thinking of it as, oh, I don't want to be, you know, promoting my business. I don't want them to think that, you know, I, I make everything about Plexus. Think about it this way. Uh, if they've complimented you on something and it's something that could benefit them, um, wouldn't you think that it would be fair to them to share um, how you accomplish that goal? Um, think of anything. You know, if you had found a way to reduce your student loans and you kept that to yourself and you didn't tell any of your friends that, hey, you know, I called this number, they did this and they did that. Or if you found a way to reduce your mortgage or if you found a way to, um, you know, make one of your car loan payments get paid. Like, wouldn't you guys all be interested? Like, wouldn't you guys all be like, wow, I want to hear how did you do that? You know, you would want that information. 
um, I really want you to think of it that way that you hold information that will benefit someone and so maybe instead of thinking like oh you know I don't want to buck them I don't want them to think I'm trying to sell them something um, maybe instead of thinking of it that way you you have to really put yourself in the frame of mind that yeah they're complimenting me on something that I was able to do because of the amazing products that I share and so it's totally okay for me to tell them that so imagine yourself men you know you are at the barber shop and you know they're cutting your their beard or whatever and your face is slimmed out because you've been using the boost and the flex of slim and you know the block combo and you know as the as the barbers like doing your lineup and everything you're like you know I notice your face is kind of slimming up you know and you just say oh thank you well we want to turn that compliment into cash um, we want to say thank you. You know, I really I've noticed the difference too since I started using um, my my Plexus Slim and my Plexus Block and my Plexus Boost. Now, what Pastor Charles will tell you, because I the whole time we were in Florida, this would happen. You know, people would say something, and then I would just drop um, that little nugget. You know, I don't go into great detail. I don't give them a full spiel. Um, I just give them that one liner to let them know what I credit that to. So again, for those of you that are just joining us, you know, another example might be um, if you are um, just going to church and somebody says, man, I could tell, you know, it looks like you lost, you know, some weight. I've heard lots of people tell me that they've had people at church tell them. Uh, and it, it might only have been to them a little bit of weight loss, like five pounds or 10 pounds, which is really a lot. But they've seen that people notice the difference and that they will compliment them. But then again, as I said, maybe they're at church, so they're worried. Well, how will that look if I share with them that it was from Plexus and we're at church? I don't want it to look like I'm trying to sell to the, the congregation or, okay, we're going to turn that compliment into cash. Same thing, one line, one sentence. Oh, thank you so very much. You know, ever since I started using this Plexus Slim um, and um, let's say you using the Triplex, um, with the ProBio 5 and the BioCleanse, I'm telling you, I, I, I've seen the weight just falling off of me. That's it. That's all you need to say. You need to say something to give credit where credit is due. Now, one of two things is going to happen. They are either going to say, what is Plexus Slim and that other stuff you just said. The guy in the barbershop is either going to say, what is what did you say? Plexus, blues, block, whatever. Or they're not going to say anything. So this is the key. You're cool with that. If they say nothing, not a problem whatsoever. Um, that's very rare, though. If they've already complimented you and they've already brought that to your attention, they are interested. But if they don't respond, if they don't say anything else, then for now, then we're just going to drop that compliment right where it was and drop your response right where it is. However, what you probably will find is that once you give them that information, I want you to tell me, what do you think the most likely response is going to be? Let me just check and see what you guys are saying. Somebody put it in the chat. What do you think if you give them that information, if you respond to them and say, um, yeah, I, I was using this, that, or the other. I've even had that happen in the hair salon. Um, I'm going to let you guys talk. Um, I've had it happen in the hair salon where people, um, you know, may say something like, wow, your hair looks, you know, stronger or it looks this or it looks that, looks healthier. Um, then I will say to them, yeah, ever since I started using the, the Plexus X Factor, I've noticed that my hair looks a lot healthier. Um, just dropping that answer to what you attribute that to. So I'm going to check Facebook and see if Facebook answered me because I don't see anybody talking back to me on Zoom. Um, you guys might be multitasking. So since you have an answer, I'll go ahead and give the answer. The answer being most often they're going to ask you what it is. You know, what, what is this product? What is the Plexus, whatever you just said? And then once they tell you that or ask you that, then that gives you an opportunity to give them a little bit more. Now, here's another thing. When they give you this information or when you, when they begin to, you know, ask you for more information, you still put it out in dosages. And I think that's the most important thing for you to catch next is because um, 
sometimes we get so excited that they want to know about it that we think that we should go into vomit mode and we just start telling them everything about everything we know about everything. Um, and so then that kind of overwhelms them and then the conversation shuts down. So you want it to be a conversation. You want it to be back and forth with them talking and then you responding. Um, so, you know, your next thing after they say, um, well, what is, let's use the example of the plexus X factor. What is plexus X factor? And then you could say, you know what, it's the multivitamin that I take every day. It's made by a company called Plexus. Um, and it's very unique because um, unlike most vitamins, where, you know, it might have a whole bunch of stuff on the label, but when it really boils down to it, you don't really, um, your body doesn't absorb it. Our products are highly bioavailable. Bio I have to work on saying that. That's a hard word to say. Bioavailable. There we go. Um, our products are highly bioavailable. And um, the X Factor is also, um, has like this patented blend of aloe. So when you take it, it absorbs in your body. And I see it in my nails, I see it in my hair. It absorbs the nutrients more so than if you were just taking like a store-bought uh, vitamin. So I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to you very um, casually about why I think it's so amazing. Um, I don't have time to go to a shareable. I don't have time um, to try to know the ingredients right now. All I can tell you is why I love it and why it's amazing to me and what I've noticed since I started using it. And guess what? Now I'm at the root of what I'm really supposed to do as an ambassador. Um, sometimes I think we get real caught up in knowing all the details and you, you probably never will. What you really want to share as an ambassador is just what your experience has been and what you've noticed about um, your body, your hair, your skin, your nails, your sleep, your energy, or whatever the case may be since you started using the products. And that's what sets us apart because think about it this way. I remember one time um, my son, my toddler, had a cough and I knew that I wasn't supposed to give him regular cough medicine because he was so small. So I went to the store and I was looking on the shelves and I was just totally confused because there were like all these different cough medicines and the labels were pretty much the same and I just couldn't tell which one to get. And so I started like trying to text people and ask people and it was just like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew someone who was using these products so I could ask them. And that's kind of what we are for people. We are that assurance that, you know, if they're looking for a new multivitamin or if they're trying to find a way to do a healthy cleanse um, and they still want to eat real food or if they're um, you know on Facebook and they're talking about their blood sugar their blood pressure you know their fibromyalgia their diabetes whatever the case may be um, you will be able to share with them you know what I have um, a friend that had X results or um, I know someone who's in our company who um, had these results or a lot of times I will go to uh, Facebook and I will just type in the illness and the word plexus and it'll pull up different testimonies and I'll tell them you know what I've seen several testimonies from people who are using the products that have that same illness and um, they all talk about how wonderful you know the products have helped them made them feel so on and so forth so i don't want you to feel like you have to have that exact same testimony because a lot of times even with the weight loss um people get nervous because they say well i haven't lost that much weight yet you know i've only lost three pounds or i've only lost five pounds and so you know they question um you know how do i go about sharing if i don't have a personal testimony yet and so that's why i said knowing um, what it's done for other people will build your belief and then you can share that. So you can share my testimony. You can share Lavetta's testimony. You can, as you come to more live events, you'll hear more testimonies of other people. And then also, like I said, using those search features, um, either in the Plexus ambassador pages or just in general on Plexus in the Facebook, um, you will see other testimonies. So that will be something that you can use um, if people are telling you about something and you don't have a personal experience, but you're kind of wondering if, if you have something that could help them. Um, so let me pause for a second. I want to see if there are any questions. Um, talk to me. I want to see 
uh, let me go to a different screen because I would love to see if you guys on um, oh wow there's an invite feature okay cool I just found a new feature bear with me all right so I want to see all right question and answer all right so the question and answer is open yep it's open so hopefully you guys know how to find that on um, Zoom. The question and answer is there. And then if you type a question, and then I will see it. And if you don't know how to use that, just use the chats. That, that'll work too, the chats. So if you have a question, all you have to do is raise your hand. And I don't see any hands raised. Let me just double check. Nope, no hands are raised. Let me check um, Facebook because you guys are really quiet. Um, and then just even say, I want to just make sure this is working well. Just even say, I don't have any questions if you just don't have any questions. Um, Zoom people. Yep, I don't see anything. Do me a favor, Zoom. I see Lavetta and Janice. You guys are on Zoom. So would you just type something in the chat so I will be able to see if I'm looking in the right place? Ooh, okay, I'm over in Facebook now because y'all ain't talking to me. Chrissy's talking to me at Facebook. Hey, Chrissy! Okay, so let me catch up on her comments. Yep, keeping it simple because if you give them too much, hold on, I have to turn this heat off. Um, if you give them too much, um, right away you will overwhelm them. So you really wanted to be like a conversation. So I'll give you an example. Um, I was in the cab, you know, the Uber, when my husband and I went to Florida for the leaders retreat. And the cab driver was extremely conversational. Um, so it started off with like, I will always, 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 always say something that will allow them to ask me more questions. And sometimes they don't. It's so like the first Uber that we took to the airport, you know, I just dropped in the conversation. Yeah, so I'm on my way to um, Florida. You know, there were um, 600,000 ambassadors in our company and just under 3,000 of us qualified for this retreat. So I'm super excited to be going. Now I said the same sentence to every Uber driver that we encounter. And again, some people will just say, oh, that's really great, congratulations. And then the majority of people would say, really, what, what's, what, what's the name of the company that is sending you? And then I would say, oh, Plexus, have you heard of them? And they said, no, I've never heard of Plexus. What type of company, you know, the guy was like, what type of company is it? And said, so, oh, it's just a health and wellness company. And then he was just like, really? So like, what kind of products do you guys have? Like, see, I'm having a conversation. I'm not vomiting on him. I'm giving him a little, he's asking for more. Then I give him a little bit more, then he asks for more. So um, his next question was, you know, what kind of products? And I'm like, oh, again, you have to stay in conversation mode. Don't go into, um, don't go into brochure mode. You know, so I'm still staying real conversational so when he asked me what kind of products I'm like oh wow I mean we're most known for our weight loss products but really we've got amazing multivitamins I love our protein shakes um, our omegas are super cool because they are not fish based like most of them so you don't have that and then he cut me off he's like that burpee fish oil taste I was like yes no we don't have that ours is plant-based so we're having a conversation and I'm like, wait a minute, he knows about omegas? So then he started asking more questions and he was like, so do you guys have probiotics? I was like, we sure do. We have probiotics and we actually have prebiotics in our Plexus Slim. He's like, really? I was just reading an article the other day about gut health and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? So now we're just talking and talking and talking. Pastor Charles, please back me up. By the time we reached our destination, dude was like, so is there like a number or is there like a website or something I can go to? And I was like, absolutely. And so I gave him my business card. I followed up with him once while I was in Florida 
and I'm going to follow up with him again. You guys know how I am. Follow up Friday. Um, but this is someone that I see wanting to join our team. He's not someone I'm seeing as wanting to just be a customer. Um, he, he was asking the kind of questions that let me know that he's the kind of person who will probably become a distributor. Um, but we just had conversation. And my point is, if I would have gotten in the Uber and said nothing to him about Plexus, then he would have had no opportunity to ask me any questions. So again, I think it really starts with us feeling like nobody wants to hear or nobody cares. And when we think that we are under the misimpression that we're going to be bugging people or we're going to, you know, irritate them by bringing it up. Now you will bug them and irritate them if they're not interested and you just keep going and going and going. Because like I said, the first lady who took us on the trip, she didn't ask any follow-up questions after I said it. And Pastor Charles will tell you, I turned around and started talking to him, zipped it up. We didn't talk about that anymore. Um, another lady, um, I talked to her about it as well, but you know, she was one of those people who started telling me about how, you know, she lost weight the natural way and all that stuff. So, you know, it was clear to me that she was interested in asking questions, but she felt like she knew a better way to reach her goals. So that was fine. Um, so for me, it's learning how to keep that conversation going until you can give them enough information that will help them to form a decision. Because that's the difference between being pushy and just having a good conversation with people. You know, people who are pushy won't give you a chance um, to decide what's best for them. You know, they just keep pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. And so then you feel like, wait a minute, we're going to stop the process because I feel uncomfortable. I feel like you're backing me into a corner. You're not letting me think you're moving too fast. You know, so that's not what you're after. Um, but at the same time, you've got to give them some information so that they can make an informed decision and then give them space to make that decision. Um, you know, that's why I like follow up Friday, because I can then say, you know, well, let me do this. Let me get your information. I'll just follow up with you. And then I will see. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, answer live. Okay, so thank you so much, Lovetta, for saying you don't have any questions and letting me see that that works. Awesome. Okay, so this works. I love the Q&A. So if you guys are on Zoom, there's a Q&A, and I like that. I like that better than chat, actually, if you can use the Q&A. Um, but anyway, I was saying, um, it really boils down to once they compliment you, you being willing to take the extra step and go the next mile and say, thank you. It is because of this product, this experience that I achieved that result. And then once you specify that, if they don't express any additional interest in learning about what you just said, that's fine. But if they do, and most likely they will, then you continue and you build off of that original compliment that you then turned into a direction of sharing with them that you received that result with this product that can then turn into you giving them a little bit more information about the product. I'll give you another example and then I, I'm going to close up early because I don't see any questions. So it looks like it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the other way that I've seen this happen I was at the swimming pool um, with a, a young lady and we were all sitting there with our kids and our kids were swimming and somehow we started talking about um, our swimming suits and weight or whatnot. And then I just, again, just dropped in, you know, that I would had to get a new swimming suit because the one I had from last summer was too big. And I was like, yeah, you know, when you lose 43 pounds, it's kind of, you know, everything is too, too big. That's it. That's all I said. And she was like, oh my gosh, how did you lose 43 pounds? Well, you know, I started taking Plexus. I take the um, Plexus Slim, the Plexus Triplex Combo, which is like this ProBio 5, which is a probiotic, and the BioCleanse, which is like a detox, a cleanse. And she's like, really, what is it? I was like, well, the pink drink is the Plexus Slim. So it's just like this little packet. And I take it and I pour it in my drink and I shake it up and I do it once in the morning. Really, just once in the morning? Yeah, just once in the morning. And then I take my um, bio cleanse 
Um, I do that in the morning and I do that at night. And, I, and you know, we'll just start talking and I just talk about what I do. And she's like, really? And you lost 43 pounds from that. I was like, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it's from that. I don't work out. Um, I'm starting to try to get better with that. But during the time of that weight loss, I, I wanted to just kind of see how far I would get with just the product. Um, and so Lovetta tells you, she will tell you, we've come to the conclusion now that if I want to get any further, I'm going to have to step it up in the, the workout department that, <laughs> you know, 50 pounds was great, but now it's time to go ahead and start exercising so I can tone up and develop the right, you know, habits and all the things, all the benefits that exercise bring as well. But it was nice of me to be able to have that as a frame of reference to know, yeah, I really did lose that just from using my products. So from then she was just like, wow, I love more information. And so I've had this conversation with a couple of people that are like, oh, I don't have business cards, so I don't know what to do. And you don't need business cards. All you, we, we live in an information age. You take their phone and you put your website on their phone. So you guys are having a conversation and they're like, oh, that sounds amazing. I would love to, okay, here, let me see your phone. And then you go and you pull up me like, um, if it's an Android or whatever, you know, you go to Google Chrome. If it's an Apple, you go to the Safari on their phone. And then you type in shotnotplexus.com forward slash Alicia Lytle or whatever your thing is. And then depending on what they're interested in, you do it right with them. You'd be like, okay, so since you're, you're looking at the triplex, this is it right here. And then this is when you tell them. Now, the price that you're seeing, this is for retail. So let me tell you a secret. Girl, to get the best price. I would check out as a preferred customer because a preferred customer, you're going to get $20 off on that triplex combo. And then after your third shipment, you'll get another 10% discount. And that puts your price actually lower um, than my price for that product. So this is how I would check out when you get ready to do it. And then they hold it on their phone. And then you can say, you know what, when were you thinking about getting it? And they all say, well, you know what? I don't get paid to the 15th or I don't get paid to the 30th or I don't get paid till Friday. And then you'll say, you know what? I'll check back with you on the payday that you just said. So I can just make sure you didn't run into any problems or you didn't lose the, the link. And then you just follow up with them. And that is how you turn that compliment into cash. Questions. I really would love to hear from you guys. Um, I got some participants here on the Zoom. Janice, are you here? Do you have any questions? I see you. Chrissy, let me check and see what you're saying over here on, on Facebook. Y'all got me jumping back and forth. Okay, let's see. Facebook, I think I need to refresh. Give me a second. See what is going on on Facebook. I'd love to unmute somebody and let you guys ask any questions if you have them. If not, we're going to wrap up this training. All right, so... On Facebook, nope, nothing's happening. Okay, I'm going to say use your picture. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've also tried searching on Facebook. Other testimonials to share or tap people in. Yep, yep, yep. People to get to appear. Yep. Awesome, Chrissy. All awesome feedback. Um, so it looks like everybody's okay over on Facebook world. And then let me just jump back over to Zoom world and see if you guys have any questions. All right, I see a question. Oh, great information. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, um, Lavetta. All right, so I don't want to keep you guys unnecessarily. It is about to be 930, so this will be exactly a 30-minute training. So again, thank you so much for joining. If you think of questions or if you're watching this on the replay and you have questions, um, don't hesitate to give me a call. Um, and if you just happen to stumble upon this video and you're not actually a member of Team Excel, but you would like to be one, then we invite you to go to bit.ly forward slash why join plexus, which is bit.ly forward slash why join plexus. And there you'll see all the information that you would want to know about the company, our comp plan, um, so much great information. And then you'll be able to click the link and you'll be able to join this awesome team. So thanks so much for tuning in again. I am Alicia Lido. I am a gold ambassador, and I am so excited to see you guys excel. Until next time, have a great night.